At least 100 women soldiers are attending this three-day forum. Discussions from this forum will be put together in what may become the first policy that will govern how women soldiers are treated in the defense force. The forum that is currently being held here now is a follow-on from 2014-2015 uh, uh, work, uh, workshops that we've been conducting uh, basically to formulate our gender and equality policy uh, for our uh, PNG Defence Force uh, females in the, uh, in the Defence Force. At the moment, the PNG Defence Force does not have policies that address what is expected of women soldiers and the appropriate approaches that should be taken when dealing with women soldiers. General Torpo became the commander and that is for us to, to come up with the, uh, uh, the gender uh, policy uh, that assists us in administrating uh, our females in the Defence Force. In 2009, PNGDF recruited the first batch of women soldiers. The second lot was in 2011 and the recent was in 2014. Uh, since 2011, when we started recruiting uh, other ranks, female other ranks into the Defence Force, as opposed to uh, officers who uh, in, 20, uh, in, 2000, uh, in 1997 was the first time we uh, got our female officers into the Defence Force. But in 2011 was when we first got our uh, female other ranks uh, enlisted into the Defence Force. We have never really concentrated on working on uh, a policy that would assist us in in managing and uh, administrating uh, our females. The move to create such a policy is part of the PNG Defence Force's involvement in creating equal opportunities for women. The discussions include topics on women in law and justice, maternity and paternity leaves and career management. The discussions continue tomorrow. It is expected to conclude on Thursday with ideas that can be developed into policies that will govern the roles and responsibilities of women soldiers and even disciplinary actions against women soldiers who break the military code of conduct. I think one of those challenges is uh, we do not have uh, policies uh, in place that will assist us better manage. So disciplinary issues would probably be in terms of issues where when one is on maternity leave, do we have a policy that uh, has that to, to be away from work or not away from work? Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.